guys, welcome back. Uh, super excited that you're here because today's video is one of those staples that you always want to have on hand. We are going to be doing a do-it-yourself homemade vegan butter. If you've never done this before, uh, I highly recommend that you try it. I have to be honest, since making this, I have not gone back to buying it store-bought. Uh, when I priced it out, it's actually half the cost and I love that you can sort of cater it to your own taste as far as uh, the amount of salt that you like or the density if you want it hard butter or a little bit softer. Um, let me show you real quick. This book, The Homemade Vegan Pantry, she's amazing. Um, I got this and I just, I can't stop making this stuff. I mean, some of the stuff she puts in there is, is amazing and it kind of lets me trickle off into my own sort of recipes from, from her foundation, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, Super simple as far as ingredients are concerned. I'm gonna use my handy Vitamix that I use for just about everything. And we're just gonna throw everything literally right into the Vitamix. If you don't have a Vitamix, as long as you've got a decent high power blender, you should be perfectly fine. You may just have to blend it a little bit more to get some more air incorporated in there for the butter. But we're gonna start with a cup and a half of uh, coconut oil. And I uh, happened to buy mine from Trader Joe's and it's the triple filtered so it doesn't really have an aroma or a taste uh, coconut wise that is and then to that I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of canola oil plus about a tablespoon because if you notice and I'll put the uh, her recipe in the description she uh, says a variation get a little bit more of a whipped type butter add one tablespoon extra to that quarter cup of canola oil and then to that I'm gonna add a half cup of whatever non-dairy milk that you prefer. We tend to use almond milk or cashew milk. And then I'm gonna add my sea salt because we do like a little salt in our butter. And then to that, this is the only ingredient that I had to kind of look up. I've never really used it before, but it's uh, liquid soy lechen, lechen. I don't even know how to say it to be honest with you. Um, but basically this just kind of keeps it from separating in the refrigerator and it's uh, you know it comes from soy I believe it's like the, the fatty product of the soybeans um, but again it just kind of helps to keep that all together and not separate in the fridge so I'm going to pop on my lid and we're actually going to blend this for a good minute or two again that's just to kind of um, Combined everything really well, but also to kind of get some air in it to make it a little bit more light and fluffy, so. Okay, so my butter is done being whipped. I did that for about a minute or two. Um, one thing I should mention to have uh, on hand, or comes in handy anyway when making this, are silicone molds. They come in a plethora of shapes and sizes, so the sky's the limit with that. Um, you could do little like individual or a couple tablespoon servings with something like this. Uh, you just put them in the fridge. Once they firm up, you pop them out as you need them. Uh, you can also do it in something like this. This is what I did for the first time around. Um, and I actually popped it out and then cut it into like butter sticks, you know, like the traditional ones you might see at the store. But since I um, went for a little bit more of the whipped butter type version, I'm actually gonna use these little dishes. I've got three of them and it fits in three, so I get a total of about three cups of butter and it's just perfect. I take one out at a time and we just use it as we need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my butter in those jars and then I'm just gonna stick it in the refrigerator and let it solidify. I mean, it freezes really well, but to be honest with you, our family goes through it somewhat quickly enough. I, I usually end up making um, butter about once a month, so easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely describe, hit the little icon for the bell notification so you guys know when I put up new videos. We'll be uploading regularly all things plant-based, keeping it simple, keeping it clean. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I will be seeing you soon. Everything in moderation, right? Ready to go.